So the Stampede Platform Protocol includes a number of trials that was uh, the, the, the the protocol was started in 2005, so ran for nearly 19 years, randomized in excess of 10,000 patients, focusing on men who are starting long-term androgen deprivation therapy. So either had metastatic disease, distance spread on CT and bone scan, or were very high risk, locally advanced, um, and we're going to be treated with three years ADT and mostly radiotherapy to the prostate plus or minus pelvic lymph nodes. The um, split between those two groups was not mandated, but turns out to be about 50%. Um, but they were stratified by whether they were metastatic or non-metastatic. The trials in Stampede have been compared to a control and at the start of the trial, the control was, as I've just said, androgen deprivation therapy. But over the years, practice has changed. And more recently, patients received docetaxel. The initial trials um, tested docetaxel combinations. Two of them tested docetaxel combinations. These are Each one is an independently powered large phase three trial. One trial tested docetaxel and the other tested docetaxel and zoledronic acid. Both showed improvements in survival for docetaxel. And there wasn't a difference between the two. So adding zoledronic acid didn't give any survival benefit and in fact caused some toxicity. But in, in translational work, we have subsequently pooled those two trials. The other trial of interest here that we presented at ESMO was a trial of abiraterone acetate with prednisone or prednisolone um, compared against the control. So patients received ADT, radi radiotherapy if that was indicated, and then abiraterone, um, uh, they randomized one is to one to abiraterone. So that's the Stampede trial. Um, the endpoint is overall survival, and we now have you know, 14 years follow-up um, with 60 to deaths reported in 60 to 70 percent of patients in the metastatic patients that's primarily prostate cancer but not invariably in fact we see with more effective therapies um, a lower proportion of patients fortunately or pleasingly die from the disease and and yeah so that's the population we studied we collected their original tumor samples. The vast majority, these were prostate core biopsies. And we analyzed those core biopsies in, 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 um, through a workflow which involved um, cutting fresh hematoxylin and the ozone slides, um, analyzing those in the central laboratory um, uh, for, for pathological review to identify cancer and grade it. And then obtaining RNA um, from, you know, the, the, from, from, from those cancer areas and performing whole transcriptome microarray analysis on those. From these whole transcriptome data, we obtain um, a number of signatures of interest. Um, and we focused on 59 in this first study. And we had conducted a pilot study in a trial called Charted and 160 patients were randomized and charted. And Charted tested three of our 59 signatures, um, PAM50, PSC, um, PSC and, um, and Decipher. PAM50 and PSC are basal luminal phenotyping signatures. Um, and Decipher was developed as a prognostic test, but we're, we're, we're appreciating captures some really interesting biology. Um, and based on, on that preliminary data, we predefined those three signatures as of primary interest. Um, and those are the, 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 those are the focus of our presentation at ESMO. We, in this population, need prognostic tests to understand who is likely to relapse from the disease and who is likely to be in remission after eight or nine years. And I've said increasingly and very pleasingly, an increasing proportion of patients die from another cause, not from prostate cancer. So clearly, if a, if a, if a man is likely to be in remission in eight years' time with 
ADT and Laboratorio. And, and this counts for all these second generation um, hormonal therapies where they really see the same effect across the board. If a man's likely to be in remission, then there's little value to him in receiving additional therapy, especially if it's going to cause side effects and long-term toxicities. 